such amazing work getting off their medication, getting off their insulin, you know, creating the bodies that they've always wanted. I want to make sure that they stay engaged throughout the this is throughout the holiday season to learn how to enjoy holiday season but not fucking overdo it even when so. you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 Good morning vlog, I'm Tony Fine, your fine fit sister, and I teach you how to have a healthy, sustainable relationship with food through portion control, and we are officially no days out. Maybe we live a regular life right now. Um, and I hope you're enjoying this journey with me today. What's tea? Work, balance, fuck balance, work. Um, just trying to get into grind mode. Okay, so I said I'm gonna share more about the business part of my life because business has been a part of my life since I've been a little girl. If you don't know, I'm 32, I'm a Taurus, um, which means I'm aggravating and I know it all. I already know the fucking vibes. Um, but um, I, I'm like every other tourist, I'ma keep me a job. And ever since I've been little, I've um, always had a job. My first job was like 13 or 14. Then I, I started real estate when I was 18 and I owned my own company when I was 21. And my, my sister and I owned a um, hair factory um, for a number of years that a lot of people know of. And now I'm into the fitness world. So it is August. I don't even know what it is. August 9th is the day after my fiance and I's um, day after our day after our anniversary, August 9th. And I am just mapping out the next few months of my life when it comes to this fitness thing. I'm used to being in a cyclical market of, with business. With real estate, you have cycles as far as like when sales are up, when sales are down. Uh, definitely based a lot around when kids go back to school and stuff like that, holiday season. Hair, very cyclical. Um, as far as like, you know, in the summertime, people get braids and uh, referencing black women's hair mostly. And then in the winter or whatever, they may go to their natural hair. And then at the top of the year, they have more money. So they'll get weaves. So I've learned how to navigate the different spaces I've been in because they're, they've all been sales. I'm a salesperson at, at my core. I've, I've done sales all my life. So now this is my first year in fitness and figuring out the cycles of when people um, want to know more about fitness, fitness and when they just really don't give a fuck. Just don't give a fuck. <laughs> And of course, you know, everybody gives a super fuck at the top of the year, but for the rest of the year, like what's thesis? The great thing about this is I don't have as much of a learning curve because I have personally been through the struggle myself. I've lost 80, 85 pounds. So I know all the cycles that a hoe will go through throughout the entire year <laughs> about weight loss. I know right now it's a good little decent time. Summertime is coming to a close, but kids are going back to school. It's still a little hot. Um, I might be a little interested in getting some weight off of me or creating a healthy relationship with food. But then I'm telling you, by holiday season, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. But then towards the end of holiday season, I done packed on all of those pounds. Now I'm starting to care, but I'll say, hey, I'll start at the top of the year. So just trying to figure out how to keep everyone who's already on my plans. There's so many people who are doing the such amazing work, getting off their medication, getting off their insulin, you know, creating the bodies that they've always wanted. I want to make sure that they stay engaged throughout the, this is throughout the holiday season to learn how to enjoy holiday season, but not fucking overdo it. So um, I'll be navigating that. And then also wedding, gonna have like the most beautiful wedding of all time next year and planning that. Gotta go to London and go, um, I have a custom dress and I have to go try it on in October, going to Paris, going to Miami, got snowboarding season coming up. My fiance and I snowboard and that's like a big part of our life. I really wanna go to Canada for a snowboarding trip this year we got so much shit going on trying to plan a girls trip so i'm going on a to paris and london with my mom my big sister my little sister my close friend girl um my little sister's best friend and my cousin 
So it's seven of us. It was supposed to be eight, but it's seven. So everyone's down. We're all going. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> Um, but I would like to do something smaller, uh, something bigger, but more local for all of the women in my life, meaning my future sister-in-law, uh, my fiance's mom, his mom, his sister, her sisters, um, uh, more of my friend girls. And I want to do something really in Mexico. I want it to be like a retreat. I want it, It's no more than like three days. Come on. Three nights. That's it. Um, but in Mexico, like a girls retreat, because what, how I think about it, this is my first time and probably the only time that I'm going to be with all of the women in my life on both sides and especially the women from his life. And I want to take it as an opportunity to learn as much as I possibly can from these women and just really bond with them. Cause there's going to be no other time in our lives that all of us come together. Like when else? Like we, yeah, we're going to have a couple jits. But I'm gonna be dropping them off at their house. It's not gonna be a learning experience and a growing experience. So I really wanna make my life as big as possible and have a great, great, great girls time. I was joking a lot about having Bolo, <laughs> the stripper at like one of my girls things, but you can't even commission Bolo. I would have his ass uh, <laughs> in that Chanel <laughs> all the way down to the um, Mexico. That's not a bad idea. I don't know if the aunties would like all of that, but uh, that's what I really wanted. <laughs> I thought it would be so funny to bring in that Housewives of Atlanta, Bolo and his thing. My fiance going to Houston. He going, um, he already been to Vegas. He got a big trip going to Atlanta with a bunch of the boys. He's gonna see more titties than I can even imagine. Let's be honest, right? Um, better not touch none. Don't fucking. Anywho, but he gonna see hella titties. You think I don't want to see Bolo? You think I don't want to see Bolo? <laughs> before I get before I get the, the band on? Come on, after I get the band on, I know I can't play like that. But before I get the band on, oh, we, we gonna cut up a little bit. We're gonna cut up a little bit. So um, I gotta plan the Mexico trip next year with the girls and figure out how the fuck do we incorporate Bolo in <laughs> And I don't want to do no damn whack ass like a bunch of girls go to a girls strip club like what the fuck? Why am I competing with him trying to see more titties than he can see? I don't care about no titties. I got my own titties at home. I got my own titties. <laughs> Anywho, so okay today what are we doing? Going to the mall. Nicole want to buy me something down to the mall. It's on her dime today. She did say I'm gonna pay her back when we get to Paris. But for today, she said she would like to get me a gift for doing well in my show. So we're going to the mall. And I think that's it. I'm eating. This is, my competition was on Saturday. I had two days off of my meal plan. Now I'm back on my meal plan. It's not super strict. I'm going out of town a couple of weekends. Oh yeah, you guys will come to DC with me in like two weeks. My fiance and I own a sock brand. I'm Jamaican. I'm a tourist Jamaican. Come on now. I have 87 jobs. Do you want to come to all of them? One of them is we're going to SneakerCon. We've been getting a really good presence at SneakerCon. We sell socks, Miles 5280, the most comfortable socks you'll ever find. So comfortable, real firefighters wear our socks. I'm not lying. Um, and we're getting a really good presence in the sneaker world, in the sock world, and in, in sneaker con, we've been choosing to go to a lot of their events and people really are getting to know us, which is kind of crazy. Cause shit, we only been here like a year and our presence is getting really dope. So um, sneaker con is gonna be cool. I really want to meet Dennis Rodman. He's gonna be there. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really want to meet him. He's chaotic. I want to give him a pack of our socks and see him rip them open just like in the most insane way because that's how he does shit. Um, so you guys will come with me in like two, three weeks. And then what else we got going on? I don't fucking know. It's a whole lot of, and it's a whole lot of fun. And um, I'll take you guys with me when I go out of town so you can see how to eat, stay fit, stay cute, but um, enjoy your life. So a part of enjoying my life is eating on a plan. Click the link down below, findfitsisters.com to get you a plan. But I'm eating just egg whites and oatmeal. Keeping it simple. Simplicity. Eating at home as much, as often as you can is really a game changer. People are always looking for ways to go out to eat. Oh, let me find something healthy at this restaurant. Girl, shut the fuck up. Go eat something healthy in your house. Stop looking for it outside because it's not there. So if you're eating in your house as much as you can, 
you'll keep your calories low, keep your flavor high, keep your protein high so you can maintain and build more muscle mass. And uh, which is important, muscle building is not just so you can be a strong bitch, but so you, you have the aesthetic you want, you want a tone aesthetic, most people, everybody does. And also you can burn more calories. So muscle is really important in this thing. So eat at home as much as possible. Eat out when you kind of plan it. I'm going out of town this weekend. On this weekend on purpose, I am gonna eat out with like my friends and my family members because I haven't eaten with them all year. And I've seen them a lot this year, but each time I've had to have my food. So just to kind of like be regular with them, I'll eat a little bit, but I'm still gonna take meals with me because every meal doesn't need to be an outside meal. Makes sense? This shit is so good. I put honey on it. This is pre-made egg whites. A lot of my food I'm getting pre-made now for convenience, and I love it. Anywho, I will see y'all after live. Mm.